If you grew up in an American or European city over the past quarter century, the odds are that your parents didn't work in a factory. Factories today take up a lot of space, they use a lot of machinery and robotics, and they are typically located in a nice logistics hub somewhere far from the center of a city. But if you had grown up in an American city a century ago, the odds were far better that someone in your family worked in a factory. My great-grandfather worked in a steel mill near Pittsburgh. In this section, we try to understand the link between cities and industry. One reason to care about the industrial city is to understand the post-industrial landscape of cities like Detroit, Cleveland, Manchester, and even New York. Many of these places were built up to enable manufacturing and to house thousands of factory workers. Today, those factories have left, but the housing remains, and so many of the cities have decayed, slowly but unceasingly. We hope for a better future for Detroit, but to get to that future, we must start by understanding the past. A second reason why the tale of urban industrialization is so important is that it illuminates the connection between cities and creativity. Western cities will never live through another industrial revolution, but they may well experience some other technological watershed. They may well create such massive innovation. Perhaps if we understand the industrial past of cities better, we will be able to handle the next revolution with less pain. A final reason to think about the industrial city is that industrialization is still part of urbanization in many countries like China and Vietnam. I personally suspect that the Chinese cities will contain factories for only a few decades, and that pretty soon China will have to deal with places that look a lot like Detroit during the 1980s. But even if that prognosis is wrong, a better understanding of the link between cities and industrialization can improve policymaking in the world's remaining manufacturing cities. Industry, with its belching smokestacks, was always an odd fit into the urban landscape, but it was nonetheless a critical part of our urban history.